Hello, and welcome to the Google Sheets Sheet Gurus SMS add-on introduction. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you a quick intro on how to get set up and started sending your dynamic text messages directly from inside of your Google Sheets. So to start off here, I'm inside the Google Chrome Web Store page for the add-on. You can get here a, you know, a few different ways. There's a direct link inside the description of this video. Also, if you just go to any spreadsheet that you currently own, you can go to add-ons and then get add-ons and then simply search for Sheet Gurus or Sheet Gurus SMS. Once you're here, you can click the free button to install it. And what that's gonna do is open up a brand new spreadsheet for you automatically because it only works inside of Google Sheets. Uh, you then need to authorize the add-on to function. So click continue here and then choose your current Google accounts. And on this page is the authorization for the add-on. So these are the four features that the add-on needs to access in order to function properly. I'll run through them really quickly, but we also have a privacy policy that you can directly access via the user guide, which I'll show you in a minute here. Uh, so the add-on needs to view and manage the spreadsheets that's installed in. That's how the add-on reads the phone numbers and the messages that you wanna send. Connect to an external service. That's how it actually sends the text messages out uh, via our third-party SMS provider. Send email. This is just for bug reporting, uh, feature requests, and feedback. So I'll show you in a second how that works. Directly inside the add-on, you can email us directly at Sheet Gurus, and that's the only way that this is ever actually used. It's just to communicate with us for customer support. And lastly, display and run third-party web content inside of the sidebars of Google Applications. So you're gonna see the entire add-on actually appears directly inside of Google Sheets, and that is why this authorization is here. So we're going to click allow here. And what it's doing now is installing the add-on inside of the current sheet. When it's done, it's going to pop up a little message in the top left here, just a little intro message. Here it is. Thank you for installing. Uh, if you ever have any questions or issues, you can email us at help at sheetgurus.com for any reason whatsoever. Uh, we're very quick to respond to those messages. And then it says, please familiarize yourself with the user guide before using the add-on. Uh, you can click learn more to open up that user guide. I'm also going to show you how to access it directly inside of the spreadsheet. But this video for now, uh, if you're watching this video, you should have a basic idea of how the add-on actually works. So now into the add-ons menu, you can see we have this new option, Sheet Gurus SMS, send text messages. We have three options inside of here, Gurus SMS, user guide, and contact us. Now what we could do is we could just start using the spreadsheet here. We could just make you know, some data here. Uh, one, two, three, four, two, three, nine, ten, like that. And we could start using the add-on right away in here. But also, you can use the add-on in any existing spreadsheet you already have. So that's probably more likely going to be the case scenario. You probably already have some user data, uh, customer, clients, potential um, advertising prospects, and some other spreadsheet. So I'll show you what that looks like right now. I have this other spreadsheet that I already created called Demo Client Dashboard. So if we go ahead and open that up, and once it opens up, you'll see I just have some basic uh, client data. This actually, the idea for the spreadsheet was to organize uh, potential candidates for a new job. So scheduling interviews, which is a common use case for sending automated SMS text messages. Now, if we click add-ons here, you can see we already have this new feature. So the Sheet Gurus SMS add-on, once you install it, it's available across all of your sheets. You never need to use it, obviously. And it doesn't actually affect your sheets in any way whatsoever unless you choose to use it. But whenever you do need it, uh, you don't need to reinstall it over and over. You can just click add-ons and then select it right here. So I'll go ahead and click Gurus SMS. And it's going to pop open that sidebar I talked about where all the add-on functionality actually takes place. And here is the first page. There's three pages to actually sending these messages out. So the first one, it's asking for a phone number column here. And in this case, I'm going to look at where I have my phone number stored for these clients. It's in column D. So I'll go ahead and click D. And... This video is gonna cover all the steps necessary to send out a message, but if you ever forget, or if you ever want some clarification on maybe the rules or the functionality of a certain uh, stage of this process, you can always click user guide at the bottom here. Uh, it's accessible in two different places. You can click it here in the sidebar, or you may have noticed you can click add-ons, Sheet Gurus SMS, and then user guide. Same with contact us, which I'll go over in a minute. Contact us is available here, as well as down here in the sidebar. So I'll show you what that looks like real quick. If we click user guide, it pops up the user guide directly inside of the spreadsheet. It's always up to date because it reads it from our website directly. So all of this is showing everything that we need for the add-on to work. It labels every part of every page uh, in a kind of index fashion and describes how those pages and how those uh, components of each page actually work. So 
for our case right now, I'm looking at the phone number column. You can see number two, number two, into the column of the sheet named above that contains the phone numbers for all of your message recipients. So just showing you real quick the user guide. Um, if you have any questions, you should definitely go here. Here's the video that you're watching right now, which is also available here as well. So I'll enter column D here. Capitalization doesn't matter as long as it matches the index inside the spreadsheet that contains all the phone numbers for your recipients here. Uh, following that, we'll enter a text message. So we can say something such as, hey name, just following up on your application for our physician. Physician, can we meet tomorrow at interview time? Thanks. And you may have noticed that in a couple places here, I've used this interesting notation with the curly braces around name, position, and interview time. And what that's doing is designating these parts of the message as variables that can later in the next step here be replaced dynamically per row per message. So if I click set variables here, you'll see what I'm talking about. It highlights the name, it highlights the position, and it highlights the interview time. And what it's doing is pulling this name. We set these each one row at a time here. And you could replace the name in the message with whatever data is in column, in this case, column A. It found the first name. And it also kind of tries to match these as best it can. So if we write position, it'll look inside these headers, inside this first row for the row labeled position or the column labeled position and automatically find that in column C. Same with interview time, it'll find it in column E. Now it doesn't need to match exactly. For example, uh, first name doesn't match name and that's why I just chose the first column here for column A, but we could also set this to the last name. You could just click here and choose any column you want. We could also write, you know, just a random uh, variable here. Instead of name, we could just put, you know, www, random characters here. And you could replace www with whatever you want inside the spreadsheet. The only reason for naming it is to make it more clear what you're doing. And also so the spreadsheet can automatically match the variable with the column just to save you an extra step there. So once we're happy with this, uh, we can click preview. And you'll see what the output messages actually look like. Uh, if it's your first time using the add-on ever, you'll get this welcome message. Uh, it gives you 50 free credits. So those are essentially 50 free SMS text messages, no credit card necessary, um, just automatically credited to your account. And we can click OK here. Uh, the credit system and all the pricing for the text messages is always available inside the user guide under the pricing section. But for now, we get 50 free credits to use. Each text costs one credit. So you can see the cost for this is two credits because we have two recipients here and the remaining balance will be 48 after we use these messages. Uh, here's the output after we've replaced those variables automatically. So, hey, Michael, just following up on your application for our manager position, can we meet tomorrow at 8 a.m.? Thanks. We could scroll through all our messages here before we send them out to make sure they look correct. So the second one, hey, Pam, following up on your application for our receptionist position, can we meet tomorrow at 2.30 p.m.? Thanks. So once you're happy with those and they look good, you can click send. And it's very fast, so it'll only take a few seconds here. And once that's done, it's going to create this new sheet here. You see in the bottom, Guru's SMS log. I didn't create that myself. The add-on automatically created it for me. We get this success message here, and it says to review your sent messages in the Guru's SMS log. So that's what this is right here. We can kind of expand this out here. And all this sheet does is keeps a running tally of every message you've ever sent. Uh, the status, in this case, it was sent successfully. The timestamp of when we sent it. Also, there's a time date in there if you want to format it and show the whole time instead of just the date. Uh, the text message recipient, so the phone number that it got sent to, and the parsed out message. So, hey, Michael, just following up your application. And at that point, everything's finished, so we click close sidebar. And that is the entire functionality of the Guru's SMS Sheets add-on. Thanks.